Maybe an actual unpopular opinion. Stop complaining about taxes. Taxes suck. We get it. They always have, and they always will. But taxes are the price we pay to live in a functioning society. Yes, the definition of functioning society may seem debatable at times, but the alternative is so much worse. But stop being angry that you have to pay a tax when you turn a capital gain. We all do. Average Joe does, anyways. Instead of being angry about having to pay taxes, be angry at the super wealthy. Those that have access to the means to dodge taxes legally, and be angry at the politicians who write the loopholes that allow them to do so. The solution is not demanding that we shouldn't have to pay taxes, but instead demanding that the richest people in this world pay their fair share. Every dollar they don't pay in taxes is a dollar you or I have to make up for. If you hate that the rich get away with legal tax dodging, then vote. Get everyone you know to vote. Vote for the guy or gal that will keep the rich accountable. Stop voting for the ones that won't. Posting on this sub about how much you hate taxes isn't going to accomplish much. Most of us here agree with you already. Be the change you want to see. Peace and love to you all. There's a whole industry bribing politicians to keep the IRS from just mailing you a bill, check. Like seriously, they have all of the info. We could live in a world where it's like. Hey Riddler, we think you owe us 2k this year. If you agree, you're done. TurboTax does make the process quite simple. I know that's ridiculous considering they're a huge part of why taxes in the US aren't simple to begin with. Though I've never filed through the IRS website. Is it just as easy there? I've used them three years in a row now and while my taxes are relatively simple, it's better than any other place I've tried. Plus you don't get swamped with annoying emails. Just the yearly, it's almost tax season, you can log in and transfer most of last year's info. Email. It takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes to file. They have links to the free programs for all the major filing services. It's basically the same process but free. They are required to offer this by law but they don't like it so they hide it as best as they can on their website. I feel like that's a bit of urban legend. I'm old enough to know and remember that taxes were the same level of complication before TurboTax even existed. Yup. Taxes literally take like 60 seconds in a lot of countries. They just tell you what they think you are getting back. Oh and you hit the accept button. Never dreaded tax season when I lived abroad. Yeah. I am self-employed from the UK and even that isn't that complicated to file. Takes like 30 minutes to do my self-assessment, put in my details, how much I've taken in, how much I've spent, done. I do simplified expenses though so I don't have to detail everything or provide receipts, just stay within the max reasonable allowances and call it a day. I'm also self-employed, in the US, and the most time-consuming thing I do is track my mileage weekly so I can deduct it and enter any expenses into a bookkeeping spreadsheet. It takes about an hour to file my taxes. Nothing terribly difficult about it, even back when I did it on paper in the dark ages. I would love a system of max reasonable allowances, though, it would probably save me some time on a weekly basis recording mileage and expenses. In the UK it's even easier if you are normally employed. HMRC tells your employer how much you owe, it's removed directly from your pay by the employer and you never have to even look at it. Sweden's system is literally just a list of what is owed and confirmation on your end that everything looks right and it's good to go. Takes 5 minutes max. Makes America's system look archaic, because it is same in my country, the government sends me the form already filled in for me to review. I hate paperwork, so I just sign it off unless the amount to be paid is too high or too low. However, the above comment is right in the sense that tax systems in most countries are purposely complicated so that rich people can benefit of it while average Joes can't. Yay, I get THST, and I always wonder why is that in good countries. I live in some random country in Europe and have mostly everything digital. Even banks, everything is digital or with ATMS, I don't even remember last time I interacted with a bank person. Average Joe can hire an accountant once a year. Often the accountant knows how to make themselves worth the expense. I do that some years. Other years I just review the file from the tax office. I'm in Denmark. Works pretty well. I've also had a few battles with the tax office and I won. We have Intuit paying off Congress to keep it complicated so they can make money off TuboTax. The government knows all the numbers, they just play this game of letting us screw it up somehow or keep the tax prep industry alive. This is the real reason.
Complicated taxes benefit the wealthy, and the people they pay to find the loopholes both proportionally, and in absolute dollars. They hurt the middle class, and those with less education, time, tax burden the most, but the actual dollar amount is relatively small. The reason we in the US don't have it is because Intuit and friends lobbied Congress to prevent the IRS from making a nice online filing system as the only reason Intuit exists is because one doesn't exist. True, but the posts you see here are anti-tax, not anti-tax filing. Also, it should be pointed out that we shouldn't have to file taxes, nor should it be difficult. We can and should have better methods in place. There are lobbyists who work for corporations like Intuit to make sure it stays this way so people use their software. Edit. Corrected spelling of Intuit I'd so much love for the world governments to cooperate and provide some small reasonable plot of land, call it libertaria and enforce libertarian principles there, because without the last part you just get a warlord dictatorship in a month. Make a show out of it. To ensure people who go there treat the whole thing seriously, make moving to libertaria conditional. You have to renounce current citizenships. The government will pay for a one-way ticket. If you want to come back, here's the immigration papers to get you started. Now I know it will never happen, but a cool what-if thought experiment. And as a bonus I know a bunch of people who all got warnings from the IRS claiming we had falsely reported mortgage info and we owed thousands. Had to push back and say, no, then wait and worry until they send back an, oh, right, a mortgage. It was right after the 2008 crash, probably looking for cheaters, but it sure sucked for all us folk just trying to hang on. Would argue even that is not the problem. The problem, in my friend circle, in the US, is that our tax dollars don't seem to be actually improving our lives. Teachers and police get paid for important work, healthcare is a disaster, roads and bridges are falling apart, so we ask, what is our thousands in taxes actually doing? The tax man knows exactly how much you owe in taxes, or so they say but they won't tell you how much it's supposed to be. They want you to take a guess. And if you guess the number wrongly, they'll hand you a good fine or charge you in the court. That is literally the strategy deployed with, buy, borrow and die. Buy an asset, have it appreciate greatly while producing tax-free cash flow, then die and let your heir enjoy the step up in basis. Rinse and repeat. It's also why DeFi exists, so those who have massive gains can borrow against their crypto, and pay the interest while their assets continue to appreciate, while avoiding taxation entirely. It's why Gemini, BlockFi and others are happy to pay 8.25% on stable coins. They don't avoid taxation entirely. First they have to pay interest on the loans somehow, where does that cash flow come from? And when you die your estate will have to settle your debts first before step up in basis comes into play. So unless you had enough cash on hand to cover that, they'll have to liquidate enough assets to cover it which will trigger taxes. After that they are pretty free and clear though. Can't tell if, s, or not, but yes, 100%. That's how people got so wrecked in 2017-2018. Many made a ton of money on BTC took those gains and invested into altcoins, entire market crashes. Dot yes you can carry over capital losses for years but if the gains happen first you gotta pay the tax man. Lots of people had huge gains in 2017 and didn't bother keeping a chunk for tax purposes. They money they needed to pay for their capital gains in 2017 they lost in the 2018 crash. 